Ah, hello! Today we are playing Alone in the Dark, but on drugs. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Alone in the Dark one, you are in drugs. And oh, what the fuck is that? Time to start the game. Go straight forward and pick up the lamp, then push the water against the window. Open it and grab the Indian carpet. Push the chest to block a zombie without the trapdoor, then open the chest and grab the rifle from it. Exit the attic, grab the oil can from the shelves and then get the bow. Time to exit the room, open the door, open the door! The door closes, fuck we are trapped! Search the desk and pick up the key. Use the key on the chest near the door and get the cavalry saber! <laughs> Open the door again, and fuck! An unexpected guest! Kick the zombie in the nuts until he dies! Does he go to hell? Does he go to heaven? No, he fucking evaporates in magical bubbles! Push the furniture against the door. Oh, we got stuck, whatever. Pick up the base. A starving Chocobo broke the window! Oh, come here! I fucking die! What? The recall made me open the door? No, not now! And a zombie's coming to the party too! Stupid zombie, the furniture didn't stop you! Throw the base to smash it and grab the key from inside! Use the key to open the drawers and pick up the mirrors! Be careful! If someone hits you, the mirrors break and you cannot win the game! Put the mirror on the statue, go to the other side and put the other mirror on the other statue! Die, you son of a bitch! Get out of my video, Duke! Go downstairs and- Oh damn, more doors to be opened! I'm fucking tired of opening doors! A sleeping ghost! Quietly get the gramophone, go to the chimney and get the poker and the matches! Goodbye, Casper! Enter the bathroom and you'll find an octopus shit in the bathtub! Grab the shag and get out before shit happens! In the next room you are alone in the dark! Use the oil can and the matchbox to light the oil lamp! Grab the statue from the desk and enter the garden! Search the statue's ass to find three arrows! Spiders will rain for some reason and I have no umbrella! Go back to the armor and throw the statue to it! He will fall very dramatically disappearing in more magical pink bubbles! Then pick up another sword for our sword collection! Go to the art gallery and use the Indian cover to cover the haunted painting by covering it with the cover! Huh. Use your Indian bow to throw an arrow to the painting on the other side. Aiming in this game is a bitch, so if you miss the painting and run out of arrows, it's game over for you. This game should be called Opening Doors Alone in the Light. Grab the weird looking book from the table, then push the grandfather clock and get the key from behind it. Now get back to the library and remember this picture, kids. You will see it in a couple of minutes. Back to the walkthrough. Use the lamp inside the library and put the fake book in the tiny spot among the infinite shelves. Oh, that's bad design, yeah. So, enter the secret room and pick up the magic talisman, then search the back shelves and you'll find a dagger, a dagger, a dagger, a parchment, a parchment, a book, and a golden book. Oh, by the way, the book is cursed, so if you try to read it, well, don't try this at home, kids. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck this creepy game! Okay, back at the library, a fat monster is chasing us. Just use this weird dagger and kill it! Go downstairs and enter the kitchen. It's time to steal the cooking pot. But we have no more room in our inventory, so we need to discard some stuff. Ah, throw everything away! Get the key hanging in the wall and enter the pantry. It's time to use our new sword. Ahoy, my zombie mates! Time to fill my steel! Fill the shack with water and go to the dining room. There's a lot of zombies attending their book club. In order to keep them reading, just put the casserole in the table and dinner is ready for zombie town. In the next room, pick up the lighter. There's an evil smoke that kills us, so just put it out with the water. You had a very, very bad smoke. Time to use the pretty key you got in your inventory to open the doors. Once inside, search the cabinet for an old disc and use the old saber and the shield. If we go that way, we will be missing an important item and we cannot get back. So instead, we go and fight with the real pirate captain. Oh, you fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. Clang, clang. No room for a small key, really. I need to throw more books. Look at this, I'm a walking library. Books for everyone. Now with the new key in the inventory, open the double doors to the dancing room. Quickly, we need to put these mannequins to dance, so use the record disc with the gramophone and it's time to dodge the crash dummies. Get another key from the mantelpiece and get out of this party without food. Use the silver key on the door next to the garden and enter the cellar. The only task to do here is remove the wooden block so the barrels uncover a hole. Depending on the version of the game, if you omit this step, you may get stuck at the end. Time to go down to hell or whatever! Run across the falling bridge. Where's Carby? Where is he? Here he is! Run from the big hellish one who also wants to play hide and seek! Kill the Chocobo who is blocking the bubbles of hell and keep moving forward and- ah! Fuck this low-tech horror! 
Okay, jump down to the underwater docks. Fortunately, there's a shortcut in here that will skip all of the jumping platform section, which by the way sucked because of the tank controls. You will get to this weird place with a flying pterodactyl. Awesome, the game switched from Lovecraft Horror to Jurassic Park. Run to the chest in the middle of the platform. Use the key from the dancing room to open it and pick up a gem. Then push the heavy boulder with your hands. Yeah, don't ask. And enter the door. A maze, and in the dark. To reach the exit, go. Left, down, left, up, left, up, left, down. Right, down, left, down, keep going down, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, and right. Use the shem in this oddly looking wall and we reach the final boss. Remember the picture from the gallery? It's a fucking tree! Touch the fireballs like a boss. Look at that friendly fire. Pick up the hook from the altar and then use the magic talisman on it. To defeat this Lovecraft abomination we need to use the first item we got in the game. The lamp! The fucking lamp! Aim carefully and throw the lamp to the tree, for that we'll get this fire animation. That was an easy boss. No more enemies now. Run, Carby, run! To exit the caves, use the hook we got from the altar and the stoner to open it. This will lead to the maze from a minute ago, only now it's lit. Good thing they paid the electric bills. Use the hook on the next door and escape to the end of the tunnel. Hope you remember to get those barrels out of the way. Exit the cellar and run across the main hall to the exit door. That's it, the last door! Now that the tree is dead, we can exit this fucking mansion. We did it! We managed to steal some books from the mansion and get out. Let's celebrate it with some acrobatics. Oh, right on time. My driver is on schedule. And now for the twist ending. Okay. Whatever. Thanks for watching Game on Drugs. More videos are coming on drugs. So please leave me your comments about what you'd like to see next. Hey, don't forget to check some of my other gaming videos either side and in Soviet Russia. You don't subscribe to my channel, I subscribe to yours. But if you want to subscribe to mine, here is the button. Thank you for watching, see you next time.